you, God. <laughs> you good, Anne Lil? Better. Seeing you again. But I'm about ready to get off my feet. Where's your car? Take me to Sammy's. You sure? I'm sure. Father James told me about your friend, Anne. Anna. She, uh, passed away. Where'd you end up going? Hmm. Patch of land where Sammy and me grew up. Y'all lived on a farm. Sharecropping, right? Till our daddy got hurt, couldn't work no more. Sammy bought the land a few years back. Lincoln. Never underestimate the value of a black man owning what's his. Father James asked me to stay away. After, he told me you were going after the men who did it. Going at Marcano. Working on it. Did you not see that? Yeah. Anyway, working on it. Oh. Um, where you going? Didn't leave much to work with. But the structure's more or less intact. Gonna have to gut the interior. You wanna reopen Sammy's? I want you to do it. I'll just help you get the place back into shape. Maybe some improvements here and there, too. What do I know about running a bar, Ann Lil? It's important enough for you to figure it out. People in the holler need to see black folks owning their own, just like Sammy did. Look, if you want, just get me the cash I need to start repairs. It's in rough shape, but I've handled worse. Should have seen Pearl's. Just let me know when you want to kick off the renovations around here. Let's get started. Damn. I think it's done raining. <sighs> this is wild. How did you... Spent a lot of years helping Sammy make this place what it was. Just came natural putting it back together. Might be good to fix up the back. Get a pool table in there like Sammy always wanted. We could do a lot here. Got plenty of options for what to do next. Money is the only limit. Glad to have the upstairs livable again. You know, was the time I would have whooped your butt at pool. Got that room looking like something out of Frisco Fields. Folks gonna like it. Nice to have an office up there. A place to get some work done. Damn, man, Lil, you starting to make Sammy's look like something. Boy, this is all you. You putting your mark on. Any of you coons hold up in there better come out right now. Y'all hear me? We ain't to burn this shit all to the ground. Dixie, mother. 
Aunt Lil, I need you to get these people downstairs. I'll slip out through the garage and deal with this. One more Dixie piece of shit coming after Sammy's, and it's your ass. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, big man. Goddamn right. Night, night, motherfucker. <laughs> Dixie boys shouldn't be a problem anymore. Honey, as long as you're black, angry white boys will always be a problem. Wrong. Let me know what you want to work on next. Gonna be some big changes around here. Place is really starting to come together. Keep at it. You're really putting your mark on this place, Lincoln. Place is looking good enough to charge a cover. Sammy looks real good up there, baby. Guess that now we got a juke. I should give one of them fell at the bars, Reggie. A new bartender. Well, he's supposed to be, but he needs some help dealing with a car he lost in a race. Reggie's all right. Just gets mixed up in mess sometimes. Sammy's boy, right? Nice to see the place up and running again. Thanks. Now, what's this I hear about you losing your car? <laughs> Got my dumb ass in a pink slip race. A white boy named Shorty wanted down in the bayou. Okay. If I get your ride back from Shorty, you come work for me? If you win. But, Mr. Clay, Shorty will be driving my car. She moves like a goddamn rocket, but that means you can overtake her around the corner. Get yourself something fast that can handle turns. Well, I'll do that, man. Hold tight, Reggie. Get my car back, and sure, I'll work for you.
I'll send him some new meals to Delray Hollow. Aye, I'll get her out to you right away. One car is promised. That's a big help. Nice wheels, man. She just for show? Fuck, son. I'll race you for pinks right now. That's a fine car, son. Can't wait to take it from you. Holy shit, man. You showed shorty. <laughs> See you at the bar? No doubt. Talk to Miss Lily when you're ready to bring me on. Pigs up out of my ass in the hollow. Gotcha. Welcome back. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe we can do a fish fry now and then. Smart. Give folks some good food with their liquor, and they'll stay all night.
Sammy's is looking downright respectable, boy. Well, at least you ain't sleeping rough down there anymore. We better be careful. Folks might start thinking we know what we're doing around here. You got some style, boy. I like it. I know that look. You know little Ernie. We've been talking about his band playing here, but nobody's seen him for two days. Word is he likes to smoke a little grass out in the bayou with some white boys. From what I hear, one of them is the Dixie boy you scared off. Shit. Probably laid hands on little Ernie. Dixie's always trying to send a message. I'll head down to their spot, see if I can catch sight of little Ernie. I'm worried about little Ernie. Go see to him, would you? That motherfucker you ain't gonna know what hit him. Odds ain't leaning in your favor. Here you come! Everybody get!
your own self to blame. Motherfuckers better say <laughs> Come stronger than that, son. Whoa. Oh. You should have listened when I told you not to fuck with me. Can't trust a fucking rat. out of here. Shit, you Sammy's boy. Hey, little Ernie. You all right? Nothing a shot of whiskey won't fix. Tell you what, those Dixie boys had it out for your ass. Yeah, I got that impression. But I told myself, little Ernie, Sammy Robinson's boy won't let you down. It's not. You gonna be all right getting home? Yeah. And hit me and the boys up whenever you want us to play at Sam's. I know we're open, but really opening the doors wide for the hollow. Let them see it as your place. I agree. Look, I'm proud of what we did here. So, let's have a big opening night. All right. Why don't you go get dressed and come and talk to me when you want to get the party started. y'all know me. If you don't, I'm Lincoln Clay, and uh, I pay the bills around here. <laughs> <laughs> the real person you want to thank for all this is Lily Robinson. Hey, Lily, come on up. My brother, Sammy was a complicated man. He sure wasn't perfect, but he did something rare. Sammy carved out a piece of this city for himself. There was a piece of New Bordeaux where a black man was in charge. We are reopening Sammy's to keep black-owned businesses in the hollow. Hiring folks from the hollow, serving folks in the hollow. This city can turn on us or just forget about us. But we aim to have our piece of it for now and for the future. Thank you. What's left to say? I don't make a lot of speeches, and I bet y'all want to get back to drinking. Sammy would be glad to have you all here tonight. So let's raise a glass to him and to those we lost. For Sammy! For Sammy!